everything, any issue you're raising that you feel concerned about, that's truthful and honest and has the best interests of humanity at heart, it does have an effect. Carry on, please, doing what you're doing. Did, did the Illuminati have something to do with that war? Yes, they created it. These are crimes against nature and humanity. They're unlawful. However, they will probably pass legislation about that unless we get active in, in doing something, such as what they did in Hawaii. So it was very uh, interesting during that trip, um, public support and public interest. We must stop these telecom pilots from flying these death bumps over our heads. Uh, several other radioactive isotopes that are in the air right now are going to decay over time into, and I wait for this, barium and... They really, they spend their entire lives trying to be a credible facsimile of a human being. That's literally what a psychopath is. That there, there's an esoteric branch and an exoteric branch, but unfortunately it's all... Atonism, or it's all, you know, it's all the Luciferian Serpentine Brotherhood with their inevitable rivalries because, of course, they're all bloody psychopaths. So, you know, you can't really prove to Michael Tassarian that one version of psychopathy here and one version of, of megalomania and one version of genocide throughout the, the world, you know, for centuries is not going to be sort of uh, accepted and, uh, and condoned just because the other side are even more sick. So, you know, I uh, the cool thing about the uh, the ambush I found was just the the, the, the what are the chances? You know? Yeah. Uh, the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, you're there, you're with the camera and there's a Rothschild right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, and we it's previously like, just yes. we previously just had a picnic on his lawn actually. <laughs> Why does your family need we need a, think we need a, a one world government, uh, a scientific dictatorship? I haven't heard that we do. You haven't heard that we do? Ah, yeah. oh, come, come, Mr. Rothschild. There are many people out there that disagree with uh, your family's uh, eugenics views. We don't have eugenics views. You don't have eugenics views. No. Well, I, I don't expect you to admit. That's what was going on. Maybe you were actually feeling some of the geomantic power while you were there. And, and the, the complex of the Duomo there and the Leaning Tower also includes the Baptistry of St. John. A uh, greater portion of the energy available in the ionosphere, you can then create a signal that will literally uh, overload those circuits with an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse, a surge of energy large enough to knock out all those incoming craft, not just the ones carrying any payloads and, and not necessarily just your adversaries, but everything within that space will drop to the ground like... Uh, a bunch of birds in the Midwest. <laughs> um, Holly also told her mother that she had actually witnessed seven other children, no fewer than seven other children, also being assaulted and tortured and brutalized by the group. She identified... It's well known that the Olympics torch-bearing relay route is a occult ceremony, so this is me turning my back on the Olympics. Everybody should be turning their back on the Olympics as it runs by. The Olympics is an occult ceremony. The occult, the occult, it's an occult ceremony. And it's, uh, the Olympics is being used to bring in a police state with martial law, lots of troops and police on the street for no reason. It's an absolute farce. And these people have no idea. Thank you. Yourself, does that look like a collapse? You know, if, if, if the only uh, causal factors are the alleged collisions of the plane and then the fires, which were too modest to do any damage, what, what brings about the collapse? And if there were a collapse, you'd have, a, you know, one floor falling on another. Well, what about the core columns, the 47 massive core columns? It would look a lot like a, a 45 player or better yet, even the old 78 where the records drop, but the spindle would remain. So there's something going on here that, that should be obvious to everyone. If they go to uh, a new 9-11 photos released on my blog at jamesfetzer.blogspot.com, you'll see a photo sequence that illustrates that we're not looking at any kind of collapse at all. Welcome to the Free Truth Show. with uh, mega tons of aluminium oxide and bearing. Winning the information war, we're saving people's lives, we're waking people up, and victory is this close. 
So don't give up, just keep hammering away and we'll get there. The more people survive, the better. up from a dream false reality welcome to the free truth show Truth Show reporting from Dorset in England. We're being sprayed today with chemtrails, geoengineering, aerosol, death dumps, chemtrails from unmarked military jets. Please, I'm making an appeal for people to tell as many other people as possible about this. Not enough people know about it. I've been doing this for three years and still not enough people know about it. There's thousands of people around the world making videos like, these, uh, like the ones I make on chemtrails every day and still not enough people know about it. It's, it's aluminium oxide, it's barium, it's strontium, it's bacteria, it's um, ethylene diabromide, polymers, uh, uh, red blood cells for God's sake. We're being poisoned from the air by aircraft, unmarked military jets. Where's the RAF? Nowhere. Complicit. Where's the government? No answer. Complicit. Help us tell as many people as possible. If you've got an old camera somewhere, just get it out and point it at the sky. Make as much, flood the YouTube and Facebook, Fedbook crap with as much information as you can. Flood the internet with all the information you can. Everybody make a video. Everybody take a picture. Everybody, come on. Everybody's being poisoned, so everybody should be doing something. Don't, don't mind about people thinking you're a nut. They're dead. Up here and in here. You're not a nut. Get out there and tell people the truth about you being murdered and your family being murdered and children being murdered and animals and the environment being destroyed. Get out there and tell them now. <laughs> 